Hi, my name is Peter Vogel, and in this lesson I'm going to give you a basic chromatic scale that is good for beginners to work on. First, let me demonstrate. There are a couple important techniques to keep in mind. Okay, so the important thing here to start with is we are in a four fret spread. That means my left hand, my first finger's in the first fret, second finger's in the second fret, third finger's in the third fret, and pinkies all the way up to the fourth fret. This is the position I generally want to be in when I'm playing this scale. So as I take my fingers off the strings instead of having them planted on there, that's kind of my starting position, or, or really close to that, as close as I can get. What this enables is me to drop each finger down into each fret without moving my hand a lot. And we're just gonna do that on each string. So it's O, one, two, three, four on the sixth string. O, one, two, three, four on the fifth string. O, one, two, three, four on the fourth string. And here's the one string that's different. O, one, two, three. It only goes up to the third fret. When we get to the second string, O, and I, when I say O, I mean open string. O, one, two, three, four. And then when I get to the first string, O, one, two, three, four. So that's the basic idea of the scale. We're just moving through the strings dropping down each finger and playing that note. A couple other things to watch out for when you're practicing this. If you try and start with your thumb high up over the neck, in other words, if you see the top of your thumb over this neck and try and stretch out, you're not going to be able to do that. You need to drop your thumb down real low behind the neck to get this stretch. Notice how much hand and how much finger and palm is out in front of the neck now rather than when I bring it up here, you can't even see the bottom of my hand. When it's low, you can. That's giving me much more finger to work with. The next thing to watch out for is how much motion am I making with the fingers? If they're coming way out here and then coming back to the guitar, those are too big of motions to be accurate and smooth with. We need to make as small of motions as possible when playing this scale. When you get successful at playing it forwards using these techniques, you can then turn around and practice it backwards. Practice this scale and techniques and your left hand will most certainly get better. Practice a little bit every day and you won't believe the progress. My name is Peter Vogel. Check out more of my free and premium guitar lessons at FreeGuitarVideos.com.